defensively, though, they're going to take a big step up. And they were already good last year, but I think they're going to get closer to being dominant. Welcome into Crystal Ball College Football today. I'm locking in my college football playoff predictions for the 2023 season. If you've been listening to prior episodes, we've gone through each and every conference, so you know who my conference champion picks are, but who's actually going to make the playoff this year? Who's going to win the national championship? What are the matchups going to look like? Let's talk about it. So from the SEC, I have Georgia, and they're the one seed. I think they're going to win the SEC over Alabama. I think they're going to have another great team. Their schedule is very easy, and I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, they still play in the SEC. There's no way their schedule is easy. Go look at it. They really don't play anyone for a large chunk of the year. I think they're going to coast into the SEC championship game, and they're going to beat Alabama. They're going to be undefeated and the number one seed in the college football playoff. Number two seed in the college football playoff is the Big Ten champion, Penn State Nittany Lions. Uh, They're going to beat Wisconsin in the Big Ten championship game. Uh, Their only loss on the year will be at Ohio State. They're going to beat Michigan. They're going to get into the Big Ten championship. They're going to make the college football playoff. Um, Their run game is going to be elite. Their defense is going to take a big step up. James Franklin is going to get Penn State into the college football playoff. I think this is a team that many people are kind of sleeping on. Everyone thinks they're a top 10 team, but no one's really talking about them as being a top four team. And I I think they're going to be the number two seed in my eyes in the college football playoff. Moving on to the ACC, ACC champ, Clemson. They're the three seed in this. I think they're going to lose once in the regular season. So they'll be 12 and one. They will have beaten Florida state twice during the year. Um, I just like what they have. I like Cade Klubnick. I think they're building more weapons at the wide receiver position. They're going to be able to run the football with Will Shipley defensively though. They're going to take a big step up and they were already good last year, but I think they're going to get closer to being dominant going forward. And because of that, That's going to help lead them even in games when the offense isn't quite clicking all the way, even though in general, I think offensively, they're going to take a big step forward. I love what Cade Klubnick brings to the table. I trust Dabo Sweeney. I think he gets Clemson back in to the college football playoff as the three seed. The number four seed is not going to a conference champion. It's going to Michigan. Uh, Michigan's going to beat Ohio State. They're going to lose to Penn State. They're going to be right on the outside looking in to the Big Ten Championship matchup, but they'll be 11-1. and one. They're going to find their way into this uh, college football playoff. Another really solid year. They have a great rushing attack. Their defense is going to be elite once again. I like what they have, and, and I really think that they're going to be this type of quality team. Now, they're going to need to get lucky, right? Because if you're not a conference champ, it still can be kind of tricky to get into the college football playoff. But what I see from all these other conferences, I do think they have a great chance at finding their way in, even with an 11-1 record and not winning the Big Ten. So let's talk about matchups. Georgia would take on Michigan in the first round. Um, This is a matchup that I kind of wanted to see last year. Because these two teams, I think, look very similar to each other in some regards. You know, great defense, running the football, built on a solid rushing attack and winning up front on both sides of the ball. But I think Georgia just does it better, personally. And I think Georgia's going to beat Michigan in this matchup. Now, I will say, the one thing that does make me a little cautious is, you know, predicting Georgia Georgia to make it back to a, another national championship is pretty crazy, but I just see this matchup and I see it going Georgia's way. I think they're going to make it to the national championship game. Then we got the two seed versus the three seed, which is Penn State versus Clemson. Uh, Very interesting matchup here. And I just think that Penn State is a little more complete. I think their ability to run the football, I think their front seven on defense and their front five on offense are just a little bit better than Clemson. I think they're going to be more consistent. Um, And this matchup between Drew Aller and Cade Klubnick is going to be so much fun. You're kind of seeing the the next wave of awesome, elite, young quarterbacks. And honestly, when you look through who I have in the college football playoff, it's a lot of elite, younger quarterbacks. Um, When you look at Carson Beck and J.J. McCarthy as well at, at Georgia and Michigan, we're seeing that new wave, right? And so who's going to be the one that really steps up and finds a way to win this game? I got Penn State. I think they're just more of a complete team, so I think they're going to make it back 
Um, not back, but they're going to make it to the national championship. They're going to beat Clemson, and then we're going to have Georgia versus Penn State in the national championship game. Kind of weird, right? Having Penn State in the national championship, we haven't you know, seen this in a long time, but this is a very complete team, and I, I think that you go into this matchup, and a lot of times you want to take the more veteran quarterback, the quarterback that's you know been there before, the quarterback that's won a lot of games. Well, neither of these quarterbacks have really done that. And so now you're going into this conference champ or into this national championship game, and you're thinking about a couple things. Who's going to win up front, offense line versus defensive lines? Who's got more talent? Who's got more guys that you can rely on to win a big time national championship game? And who's hungrier? And for me, I think the hungrier team in this matchup is going to be Penn State. And I think Georgia's going to have success fatigue in the national championship, you know, and I think last year we saw them get so ready for the national championship. They went out, dominated that national championship game. Now you turn right around, you know, you got to do it again and again and again. And I think that building kind of comes to an end here. I think Penn State is the team that's just kind of going through this year being a team that sneaky has a whole lot to play for. And I think they're a program that really is trying to, to reach that pinnacle of college football. And so I'm going to take Penn State. I think Drew Aller is going to be very good in a national championship game. But the bigger thing for me is I think they're going to be able to run the football better than Georgia. I think they're more talented at running back. I think they're more talented along the offensive line. And that will give them just enough to win this national championship game. James Franklin, a national champion. Just pretty crazy to think about when you look at the Penn State program over the last few years. But I really like this team and I believe in them in the 2023 season. So Penn State is my national champion. Lots of really good teams in the college football playoff. This is going to be a very exciting year and we're going to cover all of it here on Crystal Ball College Football. But thanks for listening. This has been, once again, Crystal Ball College Football. <laughs>